Welcome to part 4 of this video tutorial series on matte painting for PSD Toots. I am Ed Lopez. Today we will be learning how to paint some smoke streams from some asteroid hitting up some buildings. So we will also be breaking up the buildings, painting impact effects, and of course finalizing the image. It's easy, it's fun, so let's get right to it. Okay, so here we are. Let's open up this image from the links. Let's make a new layer for it where we will start painting, choosing this brush including the brush file and I'm just adjusting paint pressure uh, on the shape dynamics and transfer but you'll get that already done on your on your download file yet feel free to experiment now just picking up some color from the clouds here finding an almost white bluish tone and also setting up with the background with this gray medium gray and let's just drag some some smoke smoke streams for the for the the asteroids that are supposed to be hitting into poor old New York. So yes, as you can see, you just paint with white first, then change up to the medium gray, and mostly on the bottom of the of the stream, you add the gray. And then you go back to the to the white and add it, add it on top. This this gives the the look for the for the stream to have a some volume. And we'll do the same for this other stream. I'm planning to impact these two asteroids, as you can see, in two different places. Let's just now retouch a little bit on top here. And once we have this ready, we're going to be distorting this top stream a little bit using the polygon lasso tool. Just make a selection of it. And using the distort command, we'll just change its perspective and position a little bit, as shown here. nothing nothing too big just a little bit of adjustment to to make it look a little bit more like it's back there and since it sits now on top of the of the building here creating a new mask and using a very small brush we just mask off a little bit of the of the smoke stream now with the same small brush and in a new layer, we just sample color from the from the windows here, and start drawing, start painting a little bit, some pieces, random pieces coming out of the of the building here, because we're gonna do an impact on this building. So just draw a little bit. Let's remove the the streams a little bit. I'm gonna speed this process a bit, and just paint little bits and pieces always sampling color from the from the windows as shown here and what we will do now it's remove a bit of uh, of this building using the cloning tool select the clone source from the background but in a new layer do the do the actual cloning so we have it on a separate layer and we're not messing up our our background and once you have the the piece cut out just change the cloning brush to a softer softer one so we can remove these obvious markings from the from the background and now doing a command click on the on this painted cloned layer Make a selection and copy and paste from the background so you get this new piece and just rotate it a little bit as shown here. 
And now going back to our blocky, very small brush and sampling gray from the top of the building here, we just start start painting a little bit of volume into this piece so it doesn't look like just a, a flat cut out piece from the from the building. It's just a matter of painting volume with a with a gray tone here first and then afterwards sampling again from the building paint some little detail some random detail like if there's destroyed office building office space in there just random detail so it doesn't look flat and little bits and pieces showing from this and now let's let's work on the actual place where the the impact from the asteroid took place in a new layer with the same gray and the same small brush just start painting on what would be kind of a hole in this in this building not going through and through but just hitting the side of the of the building what caused the the piece on top to fall so be sure just the uh, the edge is random enough and just filling with the, with the gray tone here first and then again sampling from the from the same building start adding some detail to the border some lines indicating that there's floors inside there some debris of the what is left of the of the, of the office space in there something random not, not too detailed because we are going to be covering this with with more more detail of the of the actual impact smoke fire and such but we want that detail back there showing up sh that uh, that there was space office space in the inside the building and not just an empty black hole and once we have a little bit more of detail we just sample again from the windows and paint some more little bits and pieces of those windows coming out of the impact zone and all this detail builds up to provide us with a realistic impact and as you can see always sampling from the from the back of the building from the the windows themselves and once you have this once you're satisfied with the amount of pieces we just lock the pixels on the layer and start adding to each a little bit of highlight so they look more like bits and pieces flying around instead of just flat drawn pieces now we unlock the pixels again on the on the layer since I want to make a a couple of bigger pieces coming out from this this side here and again sampling just color from the from the background from the building just painting some bigger pieces that indicate some some larger debris coming up coming out of this impact once you have those bigger pieces general shape painted in the same with it with the other ones just pick up a lighter color from the building and paint paint in a little bit of highlight for each locking the pixels on the layer so you don't you don't paint out of uh, of the little pieces a little bit of highlight for each of these larger 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 pieces We also sample uh, different colors from the from the grays of the building and paint a little bit of randomness in these pieces. Once we have the impact pieces finished, we'll need a, a new layer to start painting what will be the the fire the fire of the impact so just choosing this red color in a new layer just start painting randomly 
what would be the the fire inside the inside the impact zone. We set this layer to vivid light and now changing to the to the orange, a light orange. We increase the the appearance of that that red just a bit, a little bit random. We're gonna be detailing this more. Right now we're just setting up the color. And now with the smudge tool and a small brush, we start pulling out flames and blending these two colors together. Just pulling out from what we painted. And as you can see, it's 